Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to this tutorial on animating seed values and blender cycles. A seed value is a number which is used to determine the outcome of a randomized function. This is because nothing in a computer is truly random. Instead, it takes a value and through math makes that number unrecognizable to the number you started with, meaning the outcome is very hard to predict. This means that if the same seed value is used, the result will be the same every time. If you wanted different values every time, then you could use something such as the current time in milliseconds as the seed value. This means that the seed would always be changing and would always be unpredictable. However, for things like 3D animation, it can sometimes be handy to keep things consistent from render to render. So by default, Cycle's render seed is set to say the same. In still images, this isn't a problem. However, in animations, this stuck seed can cause some strange effects. Let's take a look at an example. Here's a quick animation I made out of a recent speed model I did that I rendered out at 50 samples. I rendered it out at 50 samples so the noise is easier to see, and it's easier to see what I'm talking about. As you can tell, the noise is sort of sticking with the camera movement, making it look as if there's dirt on the lens or something, and making the noise look even more noticeable than it already is. Now, if we randomize the seed, then we can get a result that looks a lot better. This is because it is now impossible for the eye to focus on the noise, allowing it to blend into the scene better. If this was rendered out in more samples, the noise would be almost undetectable. So let's see how this is done in Blender. Now that we're in Blender, it's actually very simple to set this up. All you have to do is go over to the Render tab, and then under Sampling, click this little button that looks like a clock. And that is all you have to do. You have successfully animated the seed value for every single frame. It's something small and something easy to do that makes a huge difference in Cycles animations. Anyways, that's the end of this tutorial. If you found it helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. If you have an idea for future tutorials, be sure to leave a comment down below, and I will see you next time.